grew up in a small town of rugby England with my mum. Um, I never knew who my dad was, so times were pretty hard back then. Yeah, my mum used to play songs all the time around the house. And I think it was my last year in high school, I really wanted to learn to play drums. I was well into Tico from Bon Jovi, his drum sound. I thought it was amazing. Um, so I spent, you know, four to six months learning how to play drums. And the more I was watching Bon Jovi and videos and stuff, I was really intrigued with Richie Sambor's guitar playing. So I went and got myself a guitar. You know, I'm trying to learn all these Bon Jovi songs, as you do. And then I heard Zach Wilde for the first time. I was watching Ozzy live in Budokan on MTV. And as soon as he hit his pinched harmonic on the song I Don't Know, that was it. I was sold. I wanted to be a guitar player. Um, I'd wake up in the morning about 10, 10 o'clock. And I'd, in my bedroom, I'd start playing scales, chords, different riffs. I'd listen to bands like Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, all those kind of guys. And really hone in, you know, trying to learn their songs. Um, obviously, Aussie stuff. Yeah, that, that's pretty much how I went for two or three years. You know, so I'd wake up 10 a.m. and I wouldn't go to bed till like three in the morning. I'm just constantly learning. Some days I wouldn't even eat. You know, just constantly just drilling it out over and over again, just trying to get the whole thing happening. It's a good way for kids to learn as well if you just hone in on what you want to do. Obviously Richie, um, Richie Sambor, Bon Jovi, Zach Wilde, unbelievable singer as well as a guitar player. You've got Jimi Hendrix, big influence on me. As soon as he plays the first note, he just rips your heart out with it. Um, Jimmy Page, uh, Gary Moore, Slash, Joe Perry, oh, there's a bunch of Joe Bonamassa now, he's doing a great job in the blues scene. And those are the guys right there. Angus Young as well, I forget Angus. At the moment I'm using Les Pauls. These things right here. stock pickups out. I'm using Bernacle Black Dog pickups based on Jimmy Page's sound. I've got the Diesel, Diesel Einstein, the 2x12 cabinet. They're great guys, the Diesel. They're, they've really got their own thing going on. Really hard to get hold of, but as soon as you try one out, you're going to be blown away by a beautiful rock sound. Uh, pedal wise, um, Digitech, I use the Digitech Delay. Uh, but the rest of the stuff is just an MXR Phaser, uh, the new Eddie Van Halen one, and the Zach Wilde Wah. That's pretty much it. And pretty basic and stuff like that. But back to guitars again. Normally I'll play, cheers, live you'll normally see me with these things right here, the Fernandez. It's got the Seymour Duncan 59 and the bridge, and the beautiful sustainer pickup. It's good for you know, bands trying to get their name out there so people all over the world can listen to them. Uh, but it does have its bad sides if you talk about money. You know, It's very hard to make money 
today's industry because there's a lot of people you see that are here today, gone tomorrow, I'm not going to mention any names. And that's unfortunate, you know, and it's, it's difficult watching bands that are really good that just don't get anywhere. Well, 2010, I'm hoping to be able to bin all the rough demos off the page, off the MySpace page, and have the, the actual album ready to go. Hopefully you'll all enjoy it. Hi, I'm Matt Stewart. Thanks for watching my video and hopefully you'll enjoy my music. Cheers.